Hello and welcome to another episode of Mr. Kung Has Problems. Tonight in grade 5 in module 3 we are working on lesson number 11 and that means that we are subtracting fractions by making like units numerically. So we're going to take a look at a couple of problems from tonight's homework and I'm going to try to solve those in slightly different ways maybe um, to see if you guys can, uh, can, can use some of those strategies to solve problems. So let's see, uh, I'm going to look at problem number 1. Directions are fairly simple, generate equivalent fractions to get like units, then subtract. So we know when we're faced with a problem like problem B, we've got 7 eighths, and then we subtract 1 third. We know we have unlike units to start with, so we know we need to get to like units. So I'm going to do a more complicated version, I'm sorry, a more detailed version. I'm going to say we need to convert our eighths into some kind of unit that will also work for a third. So I'm going to just skip count by eighths and see when I get to a number that looks friendly to 3. In other words, that 3 is a factor of. Let's see, so 8 doesn't work. 16, no, nope, that doesn't work. 24, 24 works, and I can tell right away because 8 times 3 is 24. So I think we're going to need to work in 24. So I'm going to take my pen, get a thicker one, and say, let's see, I need to convert my 7 eighths into 24 fourths. So I need to multiply my denominator by 3 and my numerator by 3. And then I'm going to do the same thing with my thirds. I need to create 24, so I'm going to do that by multiplying the numerator and denominator by 8. And we've got now a chance to get to the same units. Three, 7 times 3 is 21 24 here, minus, oops, this number. Let's see, that would be 8 24 minus 8 24 And now that we're working in the same, uh, in the same unit, 24 I can take 21 minus 8. 21 minus 8 is, let's see, 13 24 and we're done. Now, I went ahead and this time and I drew out this uh, process of finding like units. But if you can start doing that as mental math, feel free to skip this step. Feel free to move right from this step to this step, where we recognize that 24 are the, uh, the, the, the largest unit that we can get that is going to work, that we can convert both eighths and thirds into, and then go ahead and do that conversion. This is the same as 7 eighths, right? Because 7 times 3 over 8 times 3 is 21 24 This is the same as 1 third, 8 24 And furthermore, now that we're in the same unit, we can do our subtraction, and we're done. So this is a more fully fleshed out version, more like the kind of thing we would have seen in our work in Lessons 9 or Lessons 10. So for the next one, I'm not going to do that work. I'm going to do that work as mental math, and then I'm going to see if you guys can keep up with this one. This is for 1F. Directions are the same. Generate equivalent units, fractions to get like units, and then go ahead and subtract. So directions are similar. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and do this. Let's see. I know I'm going to need to have, let's see, sevenths isn't going to work. That's not going to be, I'm not going to be able to make thirds into sevenths. So let's see, fourteenths? Nope, that's not going to work. Twenty-firsts. Twenty-firsts would work, right? Because we could multiply this times... These, this fraction times 3 uh, in the numerator and denominator, and we can multiply this fraction times 7 in the numerator and denominator, and then we get into 21st. So I'm just going to go ahead and do that. So let's see, I have 5, and let's see, uh, we know we're going to be 21st, so 7 times 3, so 6 times 3 is 18 21sts minus 3, and let's see, 2... See, that 3 is going to have to be multiplied by 7, so the 2 is multiplied by 7. 2 times 7 is 14 21sts. Excellent. Now we can do our subtraction. Let's see, we can do our whole number subtraction first. 5 minus 3 is 2, and 18 21sts minus 14 21sts is, let's see, 18 minus 14 looks like 4 21sts, and we're done. So this is a, a definitely a more difficult problem, and I did it in a more advanced way. We have to deal with both uh, whole numbers and fractional parts, so mixed numbers. We are able to do that along the way by just keeping track of our whole units separately, and then in doing that subtraction. We're, and this time I also did our conversion to like units to 21sts as mental math, rather than doing out the steps like we did in the previous problem. So I hope you join, join me the next time for the, Mr. Kung Has Problems, and I hope you have good luck with the rest of your homework for tonight's assignments. Take care. Bye-bye.